what a wonderful day. You're not going to fall in, especially for John Ricey, are you? I can. La, 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 la. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're on the downtown Cade of Paphos promenade and we're going to storm the Cade of Paphos harbour, especially for you. Mid-afternoon and if you listen carefully, there's a bit of grumbling going up there in the clouds. You never know, we might get a little bit of a downpour and uh, get damp or two. But anyway, without further ado, let's introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archin Gracivia Labouf. Hello, everybody. But how nice to see you again and again in this wonderful island of love. The sea and clouds arguing with each other. Who's gonna be first? It seems to me it's been going the huge, big, important competition in between sun and clouds. Somewhere there, if my eyes not sh cheating, you know, ears not cheating on me, cheating? Cheating on me? Cheating. I can hear the rain uh, uh, thunderstorms, and in that area, it's still a little bit of sun, so that's why I'm saying they both arguing with each other. Who's going to win? Who knows? Who you cares? never know, do you? And you never know, Miss Ochin Graciela Booth has got blue eyes on again today. Dressed head to toe in blue. Although I do think yeah. the panties could be blue. I'm not sure. Come on, Graciela Booth. No, you're in black today. There we are. Dancing on a wall, especially for John Ricey. And you never know, one of these days, she may take a little dip in the blue 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 mediterranean sea as i was saying we're going to storm the cater Paphos harbour especially for you we are in between lunch time and tea time so it's not that busy but we'll go and see what's going on and see if we can have a chat with one of our gumbarus or two. First restaurant on the block by the way is the king's restaurant very very well established restaurant family generations to be honest the grandfather is still involved in it then of course along came his son and now he's got sons and daughters and there's two sisters and they've got children as well very very busy restaurant indeed although not at this time of day unfortunately because like i said lunchtime service has finished and of course they're getting ready for the evening service but it is a great great restaurant indeed and on top of all of that the catch of the day is there waiting especially for us. Let's have a quick look at it. There's a nice piece of salmon sitting there. Wow. And there's Miss Coco's favourite yes, fish. Nice. And look at those big, big fresh fish. And that's the best waiter in the world. And the cleanest and the Welsh well dressed. Lucas, how are you doing? You alright? You? Have you been busy for lunch? Yes, of course. Yes. Now it goes down and then later it will go up. Yes. Ah, there we go. Lots and lots of reservations for tonight. This one is our friend Christos. There's Christos, there he is. Busy running. He's busy running he around. Thinks he's a little bit panicking. Don't forget that we've been waiting for the rain Hello. for How so you? long. Right, Christos? Uh, been busy you? lunchtime? Yeah? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All the time. Do you think it's going to rain? You never Maybe. know. Maybe. Yes. You never know. Yeah. You never know. Say hello never to know. my friend Maria. I love his wife. She's an honest and perfect woman and a Thanks, lovely Christos. mother. Thanks, I understand you're he's busy. Yes, he's busy, he has to go, of course, understandable. But don't forget, we have been waiting for such a uh, groomy, grammy, grumpy weather. That's because we're all trying to understand whether we're in the third season of the year or in the second or in the first. We really try to understand if this island will support a four. Hmm. We're happy on the second season. Before. Yeah, unlikely to get four seasons on the island of love, that's for sure. It's hot, 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 and then gets a bit damp and a bit windy. There's the rear house of the Kings, and then next door to that is the Theo's restaurant. And as we come round, that is their front house. They've got a few tables in. Lunch service, of course, is finished. Let's go and have a look at their fish counter and see what fish they've got in. It's got some giant prawns, that's for sure. Look at those. Mmm does look very very nice indeed i fancy that big fish in the background should we get it weighed and see if they'll cook cool it up Mr. for us Paul, what uh, uh, not every person can eat that big fish well that big fish if you order that fish together with a pork or spare ribs that big fish uh, right by the arrival on the table can eat your pork 
and the rims and everything, and you will stay still hungry. Perhaps it's a vegetarian fish. Who knows? Theo's restaurant, one of the best restaurants in the downtown Cater Papas Harbour, that's for sure. Come down, sample all these restaurants, and of course make your choice as we venture into the area where, if you want a boat or two, this has got to be that special, special place for you. This is Paphos Sea Cruises coming up on our left. We've got sexy Roxy, she's in the box, and we've got the man with the sexiest legs, matching T-shirts and shoes, and of course that's Major Tom. Can you spare her, Major Tom? How are you doing? You all right? Are you busy? Yes, that's why you've got the best boats and the weather's a bit mm, chopsy. Okay, it's fine. Not too bad. The boat's been out today? Yeah, it'll be now too. Yeah, because I saw it go out earlier on and it looked pretty full to me. So it must be because you are a superstar and it must be a good cruise, isn't it? So if you want to go on an all-inclusive luxury five-star boat, it's a bit more than a boat, by the way. It's called the Ocean Vision and it's a super, super duper cruiser. If you want to go on that, special offer starts off at 65 euros if you're a biggie, 32 euros if you're a littley, and then of course they've got the evening cruises and the grand, grand finale on the Friday and Saturday nights, which kicks off at just over 80 euros and just over 40 euros if you're a littley. And of course you get to go out into the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. This is one of their cruise liners out in the blue stuff, and of course it is the ocean vision look at that feast your eyes and digest they're having a great great time indeed as they cruise into that blueness and he's smoking on a bit of a romeo and juliet especially for sir martin or perhaps in a bit of lardy darwin for the guy in downtown south end of course sir bernie look at that wow doesn't get much better if you're looking for a special special boat trip cruise trip in downtown Keta Paphos, get yourself down to Paphos Sea Cruises and watch the eyes of the sexy girl known as Sexy Roxy light up, especially for you. You're looking beautiful today as usual. Thank you very much. Busy? Busy, always. Are you full up for the Friday and Saturday night? Almost. Almost? Yeah. And you've, well, you've got three days to go? Yes, of course. And you're almost full. Yes. So if someone wants to get on that boat, they better get down here pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. Now, Paffle Sea Cruises is in operation until the middle of November, and that's guaranteed. Obviously, all the cruises are subject to the chopsy mopsiness of the weather, but don't be worrying about your money. All you do is pay a small deposit when you book on, and then, of course, when you turn up for the cruise, you pay the balance. If that cruise is cancelled for any reason, either you can have your money back or they'll transfer you to another day. So your money is totally safe with pathosseacruises.com. The guys in charge down here, Sexy Roxy, we all know her, and, of course, the man with the sexiest legs in the world, Major Tom. Let's get back to the main event. Let's go and look at some of the restaurants and show you what's going on. The next one coming up is Pelican Restaurant. That could be the most popular, certainly the most famous restaurant in the whole of Paphos and certainly on the island of love. And here it is from its side view. A big, big restaurant sits out across the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And it looks to me as though they've had a very, very busy dinner service indeed. That's their rear house, and this is where you normally you're going to find the girl called Miss Coco. She'll be sitting over there pruning herself and getting ready because she knows that she'll be on show very, very soon indeed. There she is, tending to her feathers and waiting especially for you. She's preparing her wings for a night show, evening show. That's because she wants to be looking a star, but she is a star, there is no doubt about that. And when she comes out, everybody looking at her and saying, oh my God, what's that? Some people never seen the pelican in the real life, and some people who seen it and come in time to time, making the biggest uh, picture in, in the... In they the are indeed. People queue up here day and night to get a picture of that beauty there. She's known as Miss Coco, and she is the superstar in the whole of Paphos, not just downtown Paphos. Miss Coco is pruning herself and waiting especially for you. If you want a special picture of that girl, get yourself down to the Pelican. And as you can see, she likes to groom herself especially for you.
absolute superstar. Do you know what's going on now? She, it's a time. Uh, obviously, she knows the time when she's out, when she's uh, uh, she's got a time for getting ready, for cleaning her uh, peacocks and the things. Plumage. Like a, <laughs> Plumage. Plumage. Yeah, I thought you're talking about that poop that she's done, but it will be cleaned very soon. Uh, of course, we all poop in. It's no uh, no doubt about it. But she she just did all she had to do, and now she's getting ready for the evening show. Good luck to you, our dearest Coco. And when she goes out, it's amazing. It is. Nothing compares to you, that's for sure. When Miss Coco prances in the downtown Kedapathos Harbour, it takes your breath away. Bon Siwar is waiting for you. He's going to guide you into the Pelican restaurant. Let's go and do them, of course, and show you the fish that they've got on show today. Absolutely fresh. That came in first thing this morning. Look at that. There's some salmon, there's some oysters, some giant prawns, and there's all sorts of sea bass. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's a great, great choice for all the people. And perhaps if your name is Miss Yvonne, you're all the way from in downtown New York, and now you're living in Universal, and you like a bit of fish on ice, get yourself down to the Pelican restaurant because the Pelican, Miss Coco, are waiting especially for you. Twist Steve's arm and get him to come in here and spend a couple of bob or two. Priscilla LaBeouf has the turned the wrong way. you had some prawns with uh, our dearest Day Man. Uh, Day yeah. Man. Did you enjoy it? Oh, they were delicious. The Those prawns. They were, yeah. The they were the king giant prawns. king prawns. Do you remember them, Day Man? We had to grapple with them to get them out of their skins, but once they were out of their skins, oh, they were to die. I think that very fish reminds me the Asatrina. I don't know, I have to translate it, what does it mean in the in English, but that very fish without bones. It's got only one big bone uh, in the middle. Right, so you go and Google that it, one. and then we'll find I out will. what it is. That I one will. there, yeah. Wow. It's like a steak, isn't it, yeah, basically? Yeah, it's like a steak yeah, fish. Lovely. Yeah, yeah very very tasty indeed if you like a bit of fish get yourself down to the pelican restaurant now the next one on the block is the bistro gelamo and it really is a special special little place indeed and if you're looking for the most handsome man in the world there he is mr emmanuel how are you doing you all right Good. have you had a busy lunch time yes you can see you're looking a little busy. bit tired and now you're contemplating if it's going to rain aren't you it's not going to rain no i don't no. think so i don't think so that's their front of house, that's the Jalalamo, and it's a great, great place well, if you it want a great, good. great meal. But if it rains, it's good, that's what he's saying, yeah. If you want a strawberry daiquiri, they're going to do one of them for you. Let's have a quick look on their menu. If you want a nice fillet steak, not bad at 27 euros, to be honest. Pork chop, that's a jumbo one, by the way, at 18 euros. Pork Slovakia is excellent. The chicken Slovakia is excellent. And if you want a bit of drunkness in your life, well, there's a drunken chicken waiting there, especially for you as well. The Jalalamo restaurant could be the best restaurant in the world. There's cars in the downtown Kedapathos Harbour, and you never know, he might be waiting to especially run me over. This is the Jalalamo Rira House. This is the man that founded it all many, many years ago. He's going to rip my arm off, that's for sure. Yasu Gumbaro, you all right? How are you doing? Yeah, good? And he's having a bit of ice cream. And there is one of their sons, and he just happens to be the best dressed man in the whole of Paphos. Yasu Gumbaru, how are you doing? Have you had a busy day? Yes. Hopefully the weather stays dry. And tonight, busy, busy, busy. If you want a special bit of ice cream, look at that. It's the best ice cream in downtown Keda Paphos, there's no doubt about that. And there was a young girl in here the other day, well I'll say that again, there was a young princess in here the other day and she sampled some of the strawberry sorbery ice cream princess darling i hope you liked it there's princess layla she's having a bit of a gamma jubba with ochin grisivia la bouche they're talking in their native tongue which of course is georgian those of you new to the channel perhaps don't know that grisivia la bouche speaks seven languages fluently and english without trying to insult her just happens to be her worst We've now strayed into the Sale of the Castle, which is the biggest restaurant in the downtown Kedapathos Harbour area. And it's one of the best. There's no doubt about that. If you want some sushi, if you want a gourmet lunch, a gourmet evening meal, the Sale of the Castle has got to be a place for you to visit. Imagine sitting there and feasting your eyes and digesting as you look out onto the blue, blue 
blue blue Mediterranean Sea. When the sun is shining, because I've got ready, I already prepared for this lovely weather to change a little bit. I was talking about thick seasons for no. It's not even in my uh, best dreams. I think the sun is coming out again. Well, at the end of the day, in downtown Paphos, if you're coming for a whole day, that's what you want. Now and again, we get the odd shower. If you see the word rain on the forecast, remember, it's only going to rain for around about 20 to 30 minutes. Up will come the temperature, and then, of course, all of it will be banished into history. And if you want to get a great, great drink, guess what? This is Stevie's could be the best little cocktail lounge in the world and they do some great great food and some great desserts as well and it can also turn itself into a sports bar in the evening if you want to watch that special special football match you can make your own cocktail by the way for example if you want a porn star martini without the porn or perhaps you want the sex on the beach but without the beach you can make that cocktail especially for you in the wonderful little restaurant known as Stevie's. And of course, if you come here in the evening time, it's full to the rafters. That is for sure. Chris Evie. I've got a question personally to you, Mr. Paul. You said, well, when you see the forecast of rain, it's 20, 30 minutes. Where have you seen the rain, 20, 30? In which part of Cyprus you've been? Well, okay, I'm lying. It only lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. Seconds. Yes, that's right. And then out comes the sun and back comes the fun. Downtown Kedapathos Harbour on a truly, truly spectacality of an afternoon indeed. And if you're curious to know what the temperature is, it's 28 degrees. Oh yes, you heard me correctly, 28 degrees, and we are in the middle of October. Now, in this part of the harbour, there's a little bit of work still to be completed, and these metal boxes, of course, are being adapted, and they are going to be converted into outside eating areas for a little restaurant that's being constructed just over yonder called the Ocean Basket. Those of you who are familiar with the Ocean Basket understand that it's a great, great seafood restaurant. But those of you who don't know it, when it opens in January, February, get yourself down to the harbour, get yourself some undercover seating and delights I will be waiting, especially for you. All I regret, why am I not a tourist now? To get to jump in my swimwear and jump into the sea because all we're waiting is useless. We're waiting for a rain, we're waiting for four seasons. We never even uh, saw the second season, never mind the four seasons. <laughs> well, I know you're obsessed with four seasons, so I'll tell you what, on our way to Nicosia on Friday, we'll drop off in the Four Seasons Hotel, especially for you. Okay. Okay, and we'll have a cocktail, which I don't know, probably bankrupt me in the Four Seasons Hotel in downtown Limassol. One of the best hotels in the world, as people understand. But we're going to Nicosia because we're going to take one of our colleagues, one of our friends, down to Nicosia. She needs to sort out some paperwork and all the legalities of having asylum seeking in downtown Paphos. And that's the lady known as Lady Gallia. And of course, she's a superstar and she does great, great things for the little channel known as Marika and me. A new restaurant on the block. We featured this the other day, and there it is. It's called the Nautico, or as we call it, the Naughty Restaurant. And, of course, you get some great food, some great drinks, and on top of all of that, you can get to look out across the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Because one thing is for sure. That sky, it's looking blue. That sea, it's looking blue. Mr. Paul, well, you've guessed it. He's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean all that is missing is you. Have you seen that? What is that, the sea star? It's a wait to anchor oh. down the boats and you've missed your cue. No, it's you, of course you. So get yourself on the big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. I will never miss my cue. It's because we impatiently waiting just for you. Now, we've been shouted over by one of the superstars in the Naughty restaurant, and he's like, well, we've given him a title, we're going to make him a superstar, and his name is the Cowboy Porn Star. Yasu Gumbara, you all right? How are you, sir? Been busy? Busy, yes, yeah? earlier. You think it'll be busy tonight? Yeah, we will see about the weather. Is the little gangster Marinos in tonight? Yes, of course. Yes, there we are. Around six o'clock. So between you and him, your job? fill this restaurant. Okay, sir. We'll see you a bit later. See you. 
That's in Inos, and we call him the porn star cowboy or the cowboy porn star, whatever you want to call him. He's a star, and we're going to make him into a superstar alongside his partner in crime. And, of course, that's Marinos. And if your name's Miss Debbie Llewellyn, he's the one with the chuckle. And he's relocated himself from the Pelican restaurant to the naughty restaurant because, of course, he is a naughty, naughty little boy. We come into the edge of the downtown Kerepapos Harbour area. Of course, there's the castle on the left. And then right in front of us is the sunset viewing point and there's something new coming to Paphos. Those of you may remember those wooden doors which was the arts and crafts fair but of course that's now closed down because the summer season is open but look what's coming to town Friday the 13th of October three days only the main event from 10 to 1 2 till 9 there's the contact details and it's romance of realism and it's a spectacular art expedition that's come into Paphos. So guess what? We'll pop in there especially for you. Something else that's going on in the harbour area, they're removing the seating areas. Those were the constructed areas to allow people to enjoy the pop concerts and the Beethoven concert that was going on throughout the summer. Of course, now the winter's here and now and again, we might get a bit of rain. So no many concerts going to be going on. Paphos Castle, the sunset viewing points and of course, last but by no means least, the Da Vinci Cafeteria. Again, if you want a great, great Italian artisan gelato ice cream, that's where you've got to go. Let's go and get the big, big goodbye from Ocha Gracivia Le Beauf. I would like to thank you for being with us. To tell you how much we love you. To tell you that we're kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts and tell you that we living in paradise we don't want it anymore just come and take it if you want send us a little bit of rain a little bit of wetness please if there is any god above us it will send us a little bit of something so therefore i can use uh, this device which call umbrella I am really happy to stand under the umbrella, imagining that it's raining, but no, unfortunately it was coming but never came to us. Never mind, one day it'll happen and I'll dance with this umbrella under the rain with the happiness in my heart and telling you how much we're happy and this paradise eventually gave us a drops of luxury. Many kisses. Loving you. And bye -bye. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you like what you see, you know what you do. You hit the like, you click that subscribe, and perhaps come back for a little bit more of our madness. And while you're at it, well, you can also hunt us down on the Buy Me a Coffee platform where you can choose to buy us that virtual coffee or two or three or four or five. Perhaps if your name is Dayman, well, you can go to 10. You never know. But you can also join us as a super, superstar member at only 10 euros a month. And more and more people are choosing to do it. And we do thank each and every person from the bottom of our two hearts. Lady Anne-Marie and, of course, Sir Michael, all the way down in Nelson, we thank you. And, of course, Princess Kayleigh, we haven't forgotten you. Don't worry. And, of course, if your name is Sir Michael Crompton, I'm pretty sure you're coming to Paphos soon and we're looking forward to meeting you. And hopefully more and more people will join the little channel known as Marika and me. Thanks for watching. Let's hope she doesn't fall in, especially for Sir John Rice. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you again very, very soon indeed.